Hi everyone, today we are going to see a ratio related Singapore math video. Um, the question is, there were three friends, A, B and C, sharing the cost of a toy. The ratio of A's share to the total of B and C is 1 is to 3. The ratio of B's share to the total of A and C is 1 is to 5. C spent $80 more than B. Find the cost of the toy. So, okay, we understood that there are three of them sharing the cost of a toy, and the three of their names is given as A, B, and C. The ratio of A's share, that's the first uh, relationship that is shown here, A's share to the total of B and C is 1 is to 3. And that is A is to the ratio of A to that of B plus C. That is given as 1 is to 3. Now we will represent that in terms of diagrams here. 1 here shown to represent this 1 here. 1 is 2 and here you have 3 units. So 1 units for A, 3 units to represent the total quantity of B plus C. That as per what is given here. Now for the second uh, condition that is given here. The ratio of B's share to the total of A and C is 1 is to 5. So again, we can write them down as B to the ratio of A, the total of A plus C. That is 1 is to 5. So again, as what we have done earlier, we are going to represent this in terms of diagrams here. So B will have one unit and 5 units goes to A plus C, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is to represent the total of A plus C. And if you observe carefully, uh, you can see that the unit sizes, they are different. And the number of units here, that is equal to 4 units. Here, we have a total of 6 units. So the unit numbers are also different, but one uh, quantity or one item did not change and that is the total amount of money with A, B and C. Here we are representing the total amount of money with A, B and C and here also we are representing the same amount of money with A, B and C which means <coughs> the total amount of money does not change. Meaning here we are representing the amount of money with A, B and C in, as four units here. We are using uh, six units to represent the total amount of money with A, B and C. So the total quantity, the way we have drawn is to actually show you that uh, the total quantity remains the same. It has not changed. Now, if we know that this total here and this total of this is equal, it's just that they are represented in different units. One way to convert them into smaller sized units so that a unit here is the same as the unit here, that is to use LCM to convert them into equal number of units. Basically, if we are able to convert this into, let's say, X units, and we are able to convert this also into the same X units, then we can compare them because right now this unit size is different than this unit size. We do not know how much different and we, therefore we cannot compare them. So to find the LCM of 4 and 6, lowest common multiple, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12. Similarly, 6 times 2 is 12. So the co lowest common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12. So here we do times 3 is 12 units. Here, 6 times 2 gives us 12 units. Now, what do we mean by times 3 here is that we are going to subdivide each unit that you see here into three smaller sized units, as you see here. And here, we are going to subdivide them into two smaller sized units, as you can see here. Right? This three units it was previously one unit, which represented A. Now, A is represented by three small sized units. So, A is equal to three units. A is equal to three units. And here, we also know this is B, which was previously one unit, 
of a bigger size like this. Now it's represented by small, two smaller sized units. So B is equal to two units as per the new sized units. So now we can go ahead and convert the rest of them into smaller sized units as well. Three, three, three. Right here, it should be two, 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 two. All right. In total, we have twelve units here. We also have twelve units, and as expected, the sizes are the same. So we can now easily compare them. We already know that A is three units, and B is two units. And since they are all of the same size, um, if it is if B is two here, B will be two here also. So we know A is three units, B is two units here. So A is three units, B is two units, which is represented by here, by this portion. Now the remaining has to belong to C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the remaining seven units belong is representing C. So C is equal to seven units. Similarly here, since from this we know a is three units, B is here two units, so this three units has to belong to A, which means the remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The remaining seven units belongs to C. And that exactly matches with our earlier, uh, the results that we found out earlier for C, which is seven units. So C is equal to seven units. Now. C spent $80 more than B, which means if we subtract B from C, that is the amount of money that given by B from the amount of money given by C, then we should get $80. That is C minus B should give us $80. And C minus B, in terms of units, C is seven units and B is two units. So if we substitute that here, 7 minus 2 units should be 5 units, which is equal to 80. And so 1 unit is equal to 80 divided by 5, which is 16. Now that we have found out 1 unit is 16, we can find out the value of all of these. So here the question is, find the cost of the toy. The toy, the cost of the toy is represented by this 12 units altogether. So cost of the toy is equal to 12 units and which means 12 times 16 which is equal to $192. As you have seen that initially this whole question looked very daunting but we break them down into simpler steps and resolve it one by one we find that it's quite simple actually. So if you have any uh, doubts or questions or if you find that some of the portions were not very clear, do let me know. I will try to get back to you and um, probably either create a video or answer in the comment section. So thank you for watching. Have a great day as always. Happy learning.